Hello everyone, this is Don from DonWebSolutions.com and today we're going to learn some valuable lessons about WordPress. Now what is WordPress? WordPress is one of the most popular CMS systems that's out there. Surprisingly, it powers just over 24% of all websites that you see on the web. That's quite a lot, isn't it? Now, who uses WordPress? WordPress is used by enterprise level companies for their web applications, uh, all the way down to small business owners or individuals who, who owns blogging websites or portfolio websites, making it a very unique and flexible system to use if you want to build your next application on WordPress. Now, what makes it so popular? Let's talk about the content management system. What is a content management system? A content management system is a computer application that allows you to manage all of your details, add, edit, organize, everything from one central place. Now, because it's done using a, a central interface, it makes it easier even for non-technical people to go ahead and manage their website, which is why I believe WordPress and softwares like WordPress, like Joomla, uh, is a popular choice amongst uh, web designers as well as clients who want to have their websites built. Now, there are several key features what makes WordPress stand amongst the rest. One of the things being it is a free open source software. Now, what that means is that you can easily download the software from wordpress.org. You can download it easily if you have the necessary tools and the know-how. You can simply install it and use it on your website. It has a very simple, flexible, intuitive backend. What do I mean by this? Now, here's the backend from my WordPress website. As you can see, everything's organized very properly. Uh, with this system, you can easily add blogging articles, add pages, add graphical elements to your website. I'm going to show you a small example and I'm going to kind of rush through it because I don't want to take a lot of time. Uh, let's say you want to add a blog post or an article. All you have to do is click on post, click on add new. And once you're in that page, you give it the necessary title right here. You add your content by using this visual text editor. The text editor is very simple. It's as easy as using Microsoft Word or any other text editor that you might use day by day. You can add videos, you can add pictures exactly the same way. Then you give it the, you provide the necessary categories and you publish the article. Simple as that. Just like that, you actually have a pre-built user management system. Now, if you do operate a subscription-based website or you are working in a collaborative environment where you do have certain workers for certain tasks on your website, uh, with the user management system, you can easily manage their permissions, which makes it a very unique choice to uh, use. Uh, it also comes with an easy theme system. WordPress out of the box comes with several themes that you can use. Now, if you don't like that theme, there are several thousands of themes that you can use free, as well as you can easily find paid options uh, for your website as well. Now, if neither of these options work, you can easily find a good developer who can actually build a unique design for your website. Uh, that's actually one of the things I do. I build custom WordPress themes uh, for my clients. Let's move on to the next topic in my list, uh, search engine optimization tools for WordPress. Now, WordPress is built with an SEO friendly structure. Now, that doesn't mean that SEO is done for you or, or uh, the plugins are pre-built. Uh, you can easily find free and paid options for SEO tools uh, that can, you can use for SEO campaigns within your WordPress website. And this is a great tool, especially for developers, SEO professionals, and clients alike. Uh, with these tools, you can manage your SEO campaigns very, very easily with the WordPress CMS. Uh, the last point is actually one of my favorite. I think it is actually the most important aspects as to why somebody should choose a CMS software like WordPress. You actually own your data. You own the software because it's a free open source software. Once you download it, it's yours. I'm not going to talk bad about any other uh, website design platforms that are out there. Uh, several things come into my mind. Uh, some of the favorite things these days are things like Wix, 
website builder. Uh, these are what you call hosted website design companies. Uh, they're great. You know, they do a great job. They're popular. Uh, they're easy to use for customers because it comes with uh, free design tools. However, one of the, I believe, uh, one of the drawbacks of companies like that is there's always a possibility that they might go out of business. And there's always a possibility that your designer or developer uh, might go out of business or they might move on to a different industry. So it's always important as a business owner uh, or somebody who owns a website that you own the content, you own the software that you're doing the website. That way you don't have to uh, face any hurdles in the future. Uh, this again is one of the reasons why I am not so for hosted website design uh, platforms like Wix and Website Builder. However, with a CMS software like WordPress, uh, you can achieve all of your goals and then you definitely have the flexibility to do whatever you want with it. So that concludes uh, my brief introduction to WordPress. I hope this was helpful. Now, if you guys do have any questions for me in the future, please give me a call. I'll definitely be able to help you out. Uh, I do have my contact information listed at the end of the tutorial. Uh, so if you are looking for WordPress website design and you need some help or you have specific questions about what you can do and what you can't do without WordPress, reach out to me. Until then, I'm signing off. Thank you.